Let me now review some important techniques for controlling your digital video playback of your digital video sprites in the score. Once you place your cast member onto the score or the stage, you want to stretch out the sprite span here in the score to extend the playback. If you use the default sprite span, usually about 30 frames, you'll notice that if you rewind and play your movie, the video will not finish playing. It just either stops or moves on to other sprites further down the score, or in this case it's looping back and forth, and because I have a empty space there in frames one and two, it's just flashing back and forth. So what you'll want to do is either stretch your sprite span out so that it's long enough to play back the entire video. Let's demonstrate this technique. Notice that this time I have enough spans extended out here for the video to start playing back, but this is probably not the ideal situation because you really need to use up a lot of frames in your score in order for the entire video to play back, and it's kind of a messy way to author. A better way is to use just a minimal amount of frames, just long enough so you can read the label, perhaps, of the video clip right there, and then open up your tempo channel here and then somewhere in that sprite span, choose the wait for cue point. Notice that it picks up the fact that I have a video clip in channel one. And then for the cue point, choose end. So what'll happen here is that the playback head will wait at this location until the video clip is completely finished playing. It'll wait there. And then once the video clip is finished playing, it'll continue on. Let's go ahead and add a a label out here called this video is finished as a label for you to see that what's happening here. Let's modify this font size so we can see it real clear. So video is finished at that point. So let's rewind. Let's go ahead and play this back. Notice that the playback head stops right here. And the video proceeds to play inside the director movie. As you may know, there have been unusual occurrences all over the world. So the movie is over. The movie finished playing. And then notice that the playback head now continues on down the score. So using the tempo channel, in the wait for cue point or wait for end of digital video clip is a much more efficient way of working with video clips than stretching them out many, many frames in your score, especially if you have additional content that you want to play before or after the video. Let me now move on to the next movie and talk more about working with the various properties of your digital video sprites, including how to play digital video direct to stage and how to apply inks to your digital video sprites.